Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. And when you come in, if you would type, I am firm, and then share this with two people, share this live with two people, because I want as many people to get this as possible. I feel like it's imperative. And so I want to make sure as many people get this as possible. Okay. Type I am firm. I am firm when you come on in the room and I'm going to give the machine time to notify you all that I am on live. I am firm type. I am firm. I am firm. Type, I am firm. Type, I am firm when you come in the room. Let me take this down. I don't want y'all to see. Yeah. I am firm. I am firm. I am firm. Good morning, Pam. Right. I am firm. Share this with two people that you know need to hear this. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay. I am firm. I'm not going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I wanted to talk about this because. Yesterday, I was talking about integrity and integrity as it relates to being your authentic self. And one of the things that I know a lot of times people talk about when or think when you say integrity is being honest. They talk about being honest. They talk about um, they talk about, you know, doing things when nobody's watching. I think that was the, um, the auto response that people started giving a while back, some years ago, that became like the auto response. What are you doing when people are not watching? What are you doing when people are not around? And so I wanted to talk about this integrity thing as it relates to being your authentic self. Your authentic self is everything that is you with all of the layers peeled back. Now, I want to give this disclaimer this morning. 
I am not coming for you. I am not trying to throw shade by no stretch of the imagination on anybody. I am not trying to be mean hearted, mean spirited, anything like that. But I do know when I see people held captive in bondage, not free by alter, not alter egos, but something other than themselves, their true selves. When I see that, I got to go for it. I have to go after it. I'm not coming after you. I'm coming after everything that's held you back. Because those things that has us captive, that has us bound, causes us to not do better, causes us to not show up, causes us to not um, be who we're supposed to be. And it's beyond being the best version of ourselves or the best you. And I recognize that we're at the end of the year. The new year is going to be starting. So there's going to be this phenomenon that everybody's going to be talking about. Become the best you, the best version of you. They're going to be talking about this whole thing of new year, new you. Why does it have to be a new year, new you? I don't understand that. That makes absolutely no sense to me. If you are your authentic self, why are you changing versions? If you are your authentic self, why is it a new you just because a new date on a calendar? When you are your authentic self, when you are your authentic self, then you are able to simply be you regardless of what date comes and goes. And so you are free to be able to do the things, enjoy the things make the impact that you're designed, destined to make, you were created to make when the new calendar year comes. You have to worry about trying to figure out, well, what's the new word for me this year? You have you have your authentic self. So you don't really need a word. You don't need a new theme. You don't need something, you know, it has nothing to do with how you are operating when you are your authentic self. And so I want to read to you what the definition, going back to integrity. The definition of integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. Integrity is the practice of being honest and showing a consistent and uncompromising adherence to strong moral and ethical principles and values. In ethics, integrity is regarded as the honesty, as the uh, as the honesty and truthfulness or accuracy of one's actions. So that's what they're saying integrity is. But I want to talk today a little bit about integrity in the sense of the second definition, the state of being whole and undivided, whole and undivided. When you are your authentic self, you are whole and undivided. Right now, being your best self, you're not whole and you are divided. Because if you can say, I am my best self, there is another self of you that needs to be found, maybe lost. <laughs> you know, is there APB out? Are they MIA? Is it really truly your best self? You know, and so I am firm is I am whole and I am undivided. I have been in the mortgage business. You know, most of you, many of you know my story. I've been in the mortgage business for over 20 years. My daughter is 23. So I've been in it for about 22 years. And recently exited that arena. Thank God. Uh, but it's been good to me. I won't lie. It's been good to me. It's been a little nasty to me sometimes, in, you know, at, at times over 22 years. But being in the mortgage business, I learned a lot about properties, homes, how they're built, 
what's going on with them. And one thing I learned is about the foundation of a property. When a home is being built, there are surveyors that go out and they survey the land and they let the folks know what's the best place to build the property. Now, there are, depending on what's involved, there are sometimes you'll get the Corps of Engineers will come out and they'll say, you can't build here because it may be wetlands, which means the, the ground is not firm. You're going to have sinking sand. Your property is going to sink. It's not going to be a firm foundation. And then sometimes you may have a situation where um, there, there may be some rough terrain where you have to do some landscaping. You have to do some some digging. You got to prepare the land. You got to get it. You got to get it. You got to get it good. You got to prepare it to be able to um, have this, this house built so that in the middle of the night, people are not dying. And so they survey the land and they say, okay, it's good. And once you get that passed and, you know, somebody comes out, you've got all of you, you've got electricians, you've got plumbers, you've got all kinds of folks that are coming out. And, you know, then you're going to look at where are the drainage pipes going to be? place. You got to get all of this done. Okay. You got to survey it. You got to look at it. You got to dig deep. You got to look and see what kind of, what kind of soil is in this land. And so then you have the folks, they're going to come out and they're going to lay the foundation and they have to be very precise with this foundation. Okay. I, I had a house uh, years ago in North Carolina and I started to see, and it was a brand new home. I was the first owner. It had just been built. I was the first house, first person on the block. And some years later, uh, I started to see a, a crack in the foundation. Well, they had gone too fast when they was building the neighborhood up. It was a bad job. I don't own that house anymore. But that was a situation where the foundation, listen, I started to see little nail pops in the house. I mean, it, I counted them at one point in time. It was hundreds of them. I couldn't figure out why. House was not firm. Okay. But when they come out and they are looking at where they need to build a house and they're going to lay the foundation and all this stuff, they're, they're going to be precise in how they lay that foundation. They're going to pour that cement okay that is going to determine how sturdy that house is that foundation that foundation has to be whole and undivided when you are your authentic self you are whole and undivided you don't not show up to appointments now i get it sometimes things happen we are busy. We, you know, we get things kind of mixed up, you know, schedules and things like that. I get that, you know, no problem. I have that happen from time to time too. I had somebody text me yesterday and said, they was asking me a question about an event. And I said, Oh Lord, did I miss something? Cause it's possible. But at the end of the day, whatever you have committed to, there should not be an excuse that bubbles up immediately because whatever bubbles up immediately is what's in you excuses there's not a firm foundation there's no wholeness there we got to become firm whole and undivided as our authentic selves when we're doing business all of this stuff is very very clear it is very very clear now i get it if you off on a mission you got some things that you're trying to accomplish within your business you know i mean I, I listen listen i deal with a lot of people all day and i can see the ones that are not whole i can see the ones that are divided i can see the ones that are really moving swiftly towards being their authentic selves i can see the ones that are their authentic selves 
But we have to do better in this. We have to do better in this. This is a situation where everything is riding on our foundation. Everything is riding on us being better at who we are and what we are. So it's time to become firm. I am firm. That's why I said put in there, I am firm. Whole and undivided. So if you need some help in this area, please go to my website, www.warcry.com. Listen, I'm going to put it in here because I am taking applications. I can't type this morning, y'all. I am taking applications. for new clients. It won't let me do it. I am taking applications for new clients. And so we have got to be, we have got to become, it's not gonna let me do it. We have got to be firm in who we are. We have got to be whole and undivided. We have got to be, we've got to be able to show up better, okay? We have got to be able to be committed to whatever it is we've committed to and then move on from there because our businesses are suffering tragically our businesses are suffering so www.warcry.com listen you can also go to my teachable site coach dash karina at teachable coach dash karina.teachable.com okay you can go there and I've got some really amazing courses on there I've got the authentically you discover your purpose workshop is only $15 right now $15 January 1st it goes up to 35 you've got two worksheets in within that course it's only about an hour and a half long $15 begin this the 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 journey to finding your purpose to discovering your purpose it's not lost okay so you want to discover it but it's time it is definitely time so i am karina calhoun and thank you so much for joining me and i will see you guys again later bye